All right, check this out. It's a vintage Radio Shack Archer RF modulator. Some of you might remember these things. They had their heyday quite a while ago. An RF modulator takes an AV video signal, the RCA video and audio plugs, and turns it into an RF TV channel. So you can just run this right through coax cable and connect it to an old box style TV. The manual says this was produced in 1984, but as far as I can tell, 1985 was the first year this modulator appeared in the Radio Shack catalog. Hung around for a few years, and then of course it got updated. The silver case was abandoned, and it went into a black case, which was the style for electronics in the 90s. It also got a little update on the sound. It had the stereo sound so it was the yellow white and red three rca plugs instead of just the two for mono sound and of course by then as the 90s uh, rolled into the early 2000s suddenly there was a need for rf modulators again with the dawn of the dvd player i bought this at a second hand store a while ago and it looked like it had never been used it was in the original box like i showed you it had the manual even the original price sticker here in Canada, the original retail price was $34.95. I'm sure it was a lot cheaper in the US back in the 80s, but I didn't pay anywhere near that, that's for sure. It's model number 151273, made by Archer. And here's the description. Converts audio video output from color processors, enhancers, computers, TV games and video cameras for viewing on channel 3 or 4 on any TV. Again, this was made long before the days of DVD players, but these things still have their use even nowadays if you're interested in analog AV at all. The need for RF modulators was revitalized back in the late 90s and early 2000s when DVD players came out. And most people still had the old box style television. So there was a need for these to connect a DVD player to an older TV back in those days as well, because a lot of TVs did not have these. But you may have noticed that this modulator only has two AV jacks, one for video and one for audio. It's a mono output. So you're only using the yellow for video and the white for audio on this one. No need to use that red plug at all. To demonstrate this modulator, I have a VCR set up here and I have a nice old CRT analog television here that only has coaxial input, no RCA AV inputs on this TV at all. And you might be thinking, well, a VCR can always play to channel three or four through the coaxial output, but this VCR is actually unusual because it does not have a built-in modulator. That's why I chose it for this demonstration. It does have coaxial input and output, but if you connected a coax cable uh, from the output to the TV here and played a tape, you would get nothing showing on the screen because it does not modulate the channel three or four. It's just purely an RF signal but it's not modulated to a specific channel. So that's why I chose this VCR to uh, demonstrate with this modulator. So what I did is just connected the RCA outputs here, yellow for video and white for audio. The red is not used because this is a mono modulator. So just yellow and white for video and audio. And then the coax cable uh, outputs to the back of the TV there. All we have to do is pop in a VHS tape, turn the TV on, press play. The modulator's on channel four and the TV's on channel three. There we go. It's actually got a really nice picture to it as well. And then if you want, you can switch Channel three, channel three. Again, great picture on this TV. This modulator seems to work really well. 
So this might seem like a kind of an old piece of technology, and I guess it is, but in this kind of situation here, it works perfect to play uh, a video source through an old analog television like this that only has coax input. Another situation you could use this in would be to connect a DVD player to an old TV. And you can even go a step further if you want and use one of these little adapters here that takes an HDMI video source, converts it to RCA. And you can just use the yellow and white outputs here and then you can play you know a, whatever a streaming device or a computer uh, a video game through the modulator into the tv as well learn more about this video link in the description so these modulators in my mind still have their uses today plus it's a great way to splice in your own private analog tv channel to your house you can use this modulator to send a video signal to any uh, TV in the home that's connected by coax cable to either channel 3 or 4 in this case. Let me know what you think in the comments.